Leah Michelle is back trending on Twitter after the cast of the upcoming big screen version of the Broadway musical Wicked was announced. And Leah Michelle has not been cast. This is the second big Broadway role she wasn't cast in this year. The first being the revival of Funny Girl in 2022. Now, if you know Leah, then you know that she's a huge fan of both shows. She has said that on a number of occasions. But there's a reason as to why Hollywood isn't casting Leah Michelle anymore. And it's not pretty. From making sets a living hell to starting unnecessary drama. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to BTS. I'm your host Lindsay Ivan and today we are looking at the top 10 reasons Hollywood won't hire Leah Michelle. Before I begin, help us out, smash that like button, comment something down below and obviously subscribe to our channel. Now we'll get on with the video. Starting off this countdown, we have her wickedness. Pun intended. So just recently, Ariana Grande let her followers know that she'll be starring in the upcoming Wicked movie with Tony winning actor Cynthia Ervo, a role that Leah wanted to get. If you've seen Glee, then you know that Leah's character, Rachel Berry, even sang Defying Gravity from Wicked. In 2019, Leah said it would be incredible if she could be in Wicked. But that won't be happening and people think it's because of Leah's own Wicked behavior. She has been exposed by a number of her fellow acting colleagues. People have called her rude, terrifying, manipulative, and a nightmare among other things. From 2006 to 2008, Leah starred in the Broadway musical Spring Awakening. Fellow cast member Marcus S. Daniels said that Michelle was, and I quote, abusive, rude, condescending, and at many times downright cruel. He continued on calling her out saying, there was no excuse for your behavior. You have so much talent, but there is so much hate within your heart. Everyone who has worked with you carries those memories with them. So it seems like Leah is literally Rachel in real life. Moving on to number nine, we have the living hell. Earlier this year, during the Black Lives Matter movement, Leah tweeted out in support. She tweeted, and I quote, George Floyd did not deserve this. This was not an isolated incident and it must end. And then she used the hashtag Black Lives Matter. Well, Samantha Ware, former Glee cast member, responded to that tweet and called Leah out. In all caps, she tweeted, LMAO, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Cause I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. That is insane. Another time, Leah didn't like how Samantha was acting on set and threatened to have her fired. Needless to say, she makes sets a living hell. In our eighth spot, we have being unpleasant. Another Glee co-star, Heather Morris, ended up tweeting out in support of Samantha, coming forward calling out Leah Michelle. She said, and I quote, was she unpleasant to work with? Very much so. For Leah to treat others with the disrespect that she did for as long as she did, I believe she should be called out. Then former RuPaul's Drag Race contestant Willem also came forward. Willem made an appearance on the fourth season of Glee. They said, and I quote, Leah treated me so subhuman I left the set of Glee, past the popcorn. Nobody wants to work in a toxic environment. Good for them for leaving. Coming in our seventh spot, we have being disrespectful. Leah Michelle can officially add being disrespectful to her list of talents on her acting resume. One of her former co-stars and understudy for Spring Awakening tweeted out saying, you were nothing but a nightmare to me and fellow understudy cast members. You made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried for years to be nice to you to no avail. Maybe actually apologize instead of placing the blame on how others perceive you. You'll probably just delete this though. He's not the only understudy to come forward though. Elizabeth Aldrich was Leah's understudy in Ragtime in 1998 and she said, and I quote, she was absolutely awful to me and the ensemble. She demeaned the crew and threatened to have people fired if she was in any displeased. I used to cry every night from the mean and manipulative things she would do. She was 12. She was terrifying. Dude, she was only 12 and already had an attitude problem? And if sets condone this behavior, then she thinks that she can continue to get away with it so she won't change her ways at all. In our sixth spot today, we have the dictator. Leah Michelle believes the world revolves around her. I'm sure you can tell that by now. When on set, she thinks that she has the power to dictate what goes on. For example, if someone gets on her nerves, Leah will apparently try to get them fired. Well, another person that exposed Leah would be actor Davier Snell. He appeared on one episode of Glee in 2014. He tweeted saying, girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members cause I didn't belong there. F you, Leah. Yikes. <laughs> 
Okay, but Leah, that's not a very welcoming thing to do. She's literally just a big bully. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the racism. A number of cast members of color have come forward saying they felt that Leah's hate towards them was racially motivated. Then 30 Rock actor Keith Powell came forward and said, and I quote, Leah Michelle is a terrible human and has said terrible things to many different types of people, including racist microaggressions to slash about black people. Which is seemingly why Samantha was so ticked off about Leah's tweet about George Floyd. She's not practicing what she's been preaching. After word got out about Leah's behavior, HelloFresh dropped her from their partnership. They said that they do not condone racism nor discrimination of any kind, nor should anyone. In our fourth spot, we have the drama. On a number of sets, Leah has been known to try and start drama. On Glee, Leah tried to start drama with Naya Riviera. In an interview, she revealed, and I quote, Leah and I were like two sides of the same battery. We are both strong willed and competitive, not just with each other, but with everyone. And that's not a good mixture. As the show progressed, especially as Santana moved from a background character to one with bigger plot lines and more screen time, I think Rachel, uh, I mean, Leah didn't like sharing the spotlight. It seemed like she blamed me for anything and everything that went wrong. If I'd complain about anyone or anything, she'd assume I was bitching about her. Soon she started to ignore me and eventually it got to the point where she didn't say a word to me for all of season six. Wow, that's tough. In our third spot today, we have the attitude problem. Another one of Leah's former Glee colleagues, Chase Edmondson, outed Leah for a terrible interaction he had with her. So Chase worked in the production department for season three and four of Glee. According to him, he said, my strongest memory of you was storming out of the Glee classroom set yelling, does anyone have gum? I was standing about 10 feet from you with gum already in hand. When I said, I do, offering it to you, you just looked at me and said, ew, before walking off to Crafty on the next stage. I have no clue how she can just treat her colleagues with such disrespect. Come on now. In our second spot, we have the background actors. Seems like everyone that worked with Leah Michelle has been victimized by her, including the background performers. And Mia Edwards was a background actor for season six of Glee. According to her, Leah made them feel as if they were nothing and often referred to the background actors as cockroaches. Like what? And if any background actors looked at Leah, she'd be like, ugh, don't look at me. Don't make eye contact, ugh, you cockroaches. That's not all though. According to her, while prepping for a scene on set, Leah, and I quote, walked by me and burped in my face. This loud burp, directly almost face to face. It wasn't even like, oh, she wouldn't have known. She knew she burped in my face. Two other people saw it and an operator said, oh my God, I'm so sorry she did that. I was just like, yeah, whatever. You're on set trying to be professional. You're not trying to make a huge deal about things. After the second or third take, she walked by me and stepped on my foot really hard. You know, when you bump into someone, one, you can feel it. Again, nothing, no reaction, like I wasn't even there. It made me feel like I was nothing. And in our number one spot today, we have the lookalike. So back in September of 2009, a number of actors were hired to work as lookalikes at a Glee premiere party. These lookalikes had to resemble the show's characters and they would perform at the party. So this one girl was hired as the Rachel Berry lookalike. And listen what she had to say. She said, and I quote, I didn't know my character was the lead, let alone who played her. When the actors arrived at the event and found out there were lookalikes of them, Leah came searching for me. When she saw me, she said, oh my God, could they have picked someone uglier? Corey Monteith saw the look on my face and said, don't listen to her. She's just jealous. You're beautiful. I never forgot. First up, we got Samantha Ware. Samantha Ware started the entire downfall of Leah Michelle back in 2020 after she called out Michelle for the way that she acted on the set of Glee. Ware appeared on season six of Glee and she didn't get along well with Leah. When Leah Michelle posted tweets in support of George Floyd after his passing, Ware decided to call out Michelle on the hypocrisy. She commented, quote, remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Adding that Michelle was microaggressive towards her and even threatened to uh, defecate in her wig, if you can believe that. Ware's experience with Michelle was so bad that it made her question a career in the industry. Michelle later apologized for her behavior, but Ware did not accept and told Leah to open her purse if she really wanted to help. 
Next up, Amber Riley. Amber Riley is another Glee cast member that had terrible things to say about Leah. Riley was a cast member for all six seasons of Glee, so she definitely knew the true Leah. After Samantha Ware's comments, Riley weighed in by posting some gifts of her sipping tea, clearly commenting on what was going on. Riley weighed in further during an interview on Real Quick with Danielle Young. She explained that she did not believe that Leah was racist, but she just believed that she was a stuck up brat who was power tripping on everyone. However, Riley did say that just because Leah might not be a racist, doesn't mean that race doesn't play a factor in these bad interactions. Adding quote, in my inbox there are a lot of black actors and actresses telling me their stories and letting me know that they have dealt with the same things on set, being terrorized by the white girls that are leads of the show. So clearly it's something that really needs to be discussed in the industry. Next up, Heather Morris. Glee's Heather Morris did not hold back when sharing her disdain of Leah. After Leah's behavior became a topic of conversation, Morris was shy at first, but later became very vocal against the star. Morris tweeted out that she didn't want to send more hate to Leah at the time, but she confirmed that Leah was very unpleasant to work with and was very disrespectful to everyone on set. And Morris believed that Leah needed to be called out for her behavior. When speaking about race, Morris said that she could not comment on if she thought Leah was racist, but that was the assumption at the time. Morris later revealed that while filming Glee, everyone was way too scared to speak up to the Fox executives. However, she's glad it's a different time and there's more of a demand for respect on set saying, quote, we absolutely could have stepped up and gone to the Fox execs and said how we really felt about the situation and no one really did. Now we're living in a culture where it's acceptable to do things like that, whereas I think many people were very scared. Next up, Yvette Nicole Brown. Yvette Nicole Brown and Leah Michelle starred in a short-lived show on ABC called The Mayor. And even though Brown is never involved in Hollywood drama, she spoke up about her time with Michelle after Samantha Ware publicly tweeted out against her. Brown responded to Ware's initial tweet, writing, quote, I felt every one of those capital letters. Every person on a set matters. Every person on a set deserves respect. And it's the responsibility of every series regular to make every person who visits their home feel welcome. This dismissive attitude is what's wrong in Hollywood and the world. And although Brown never mentioned Leah by name here, many assume that Michelle exhibited the same behavior on the set of that show. And that's what caused her to speak out. Brown also spoke about her time on the hit show Community, saying the experience was not as toxic, with Brown saying that someone defecating in her wig was something that never would have been said on the Community set. And thank God for that. Gerard Canatico. Gerard Canatico worked alongside Michelle when they were an understudy in the play Spring Awakening. Canatico actually commented on Leah Michelle's Instagram apology after she started receiving tons of backlash. However, his comment was suspiciously deleted. Wonder what happened? So he commented again, writing, quote, my first comment seems to have been deleted, so I'll try again. You are nothing but a nightmare to me and fellow understudy cast members. You made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried for years to be nice to you to no avail. Maybe actually apologize instead of placing the blame on how others, quote, perceive you. You'll probably just delete this though. This comment clearly taking a shot at the part in Michelle's apology, where she said that people perceived their negative experiences with her. Next up, Abigail Breslin. Abigail Breslin and Leah Michelle worked alongside each other in the show Scream Queens. If you haven't seen it, it's actually one of my favorite shows. Breslin is probably the most high profile actor to speak out against Michelle. However, since Breslin did not want to get caught up in drama, she decided to like some negative tweets about Michelle instead, basically in order to get her point across but not actually speak out directly. Breslin liked a tweet that said, quote, not everyone agreeing that something felt off about Leah Michelle. Where have y'all been? I've been saying this for years. I thought I was alone. So clearly Breslin agreed with the sentiment that something felt off about Leah and people tried to speak up about it for years. Next up, Naya Rivera. Naya Rivera was the only person that had the guts to share their feelings about Leah Michelle before she was exposed by Samantha Ware. The two worked alongside each other for all seasons of Glee, so Rivera got an inside look into Michelle's true character. The two actually got into a big fight on set in 2014 and Rivera exposed it in her memoir that was published in 2016. Rivera says the two started off as friends, but over time they started to hate each other. Rivera believed this was partially because her character of Santana moved from a background character to a main one over time, and Michelle didn't like sharing the spotlight. A few years later, it seemed that the two had partially made up, and on a 2019 episode of Watch What Happens Live, Rivera said that her and Michelle had no bad blood, and she even liked Michelle's Instagram engagement post. However, it's wild to hear that she had such a bad experience with Michelle, especially being a woman of color. And lastly, Elizabeth Aldrich. 
Broadway actress Elizabeth Aldrich was Leah Michelle's understudy in the Broadway show Red Time. This was early in both their careers, and even as a child, apparently Michelle was a nightmare to work with. Aldrich shared a statement on Twitter along with a picture of both of them as children. Aldrich said in part that Michelle was awful to work with, adding, quote, she demeaned the crew and threatened to have people fired if she was in any way displeased. I used to cry every night from the mean and manipulative things she would do. She was 12. She was terrifying. Aldrich went on to say that she's no longer in the acting world, but she wanted to share her story of working with Michelle to validate other people's stories about her. Aldrich also added that she hopes that becoming a mother changes Leah's behavior.